and happy Tuesday. I'm just going to check that I'm live on my page. Hope you're all right. Um, bear with, bear with. Oh, I've just realised how messy my ribbons are in the background. Really must sort that out. My ladies this morning must have seen my messy ribbons. So if you are on, right, I can see myself on my laptop. So if you're on, please do say hi. It's my regular Tuesday afternoon Facebook Live and I'm going to be making some butterfly cards with you today. It sounds like someone's moving into the office next door behind me. So if you hear a bit of extra noise, I think that's why. I think there's somebody moving in. Um, oh, I've just had a notification telling me that I'm now live just get rid of that so welcome hi nanny hello again so if you've joined me for both youtube and facebook today thank you so much i'm just going to turn the camera around and i'm still um playing with the butterflies this morning this afternoon even um let me just sort my arm of my thing out but i'm going to do something a little bit different now this morning, if you missed me, shall I show you what we made? Oh, there's 12 of you on. Please do say hi. Um, this morning we went for Suttles and we made a pocket card. Well, I actually made two pocket cards. Um, so I'm just sorting out my... Yeah, I can hear a lot of noise outside, but just bear with me for that. Um, I made two pocket cards and this is one of them. I can't remember which went with which. I think that one belonged to that one. And then that belongs in there. So I went for the Suttles um, look this morning. And I used the papers. And if you want to catch the replay of this, it's on YouTube. Um, what I really, my favourite part of this was I coloured this ribbon in with a mint macaron pen blends, which I really love. Rather than having it, oh, I got a lot of love hearts then. Thank you. Oh, Cathy, you, you, um, you rebel, you. I'm just seeing who's on. Hi, Nanny. Hi, Elaine. Hi, Fiona. Hi, Kay. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Cathy. Hi, Maria. Hi, Karen. Wow, someone's doing loads of hearts. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, those are the pocket cards. It's one of my go-to designs. And I went for clean um, subtles with these and used my perennials stamps here. And I used the Happy Thoughts stamp there. So that was this morning's, you can catch those. So what I thought this afternoon, I'd do something that's not really, um, oh yeah, let me keep you company, Cathy. I thought, I've got my cuppa. I'd do something that's not really me as much and I would do a bit more grungy. And I thought I'd do some watercolouring. Now this is our watercolour paper. I don't, let me just check what size it is. It's five inches by seven inches which is 12.7 by 17.8 now it's not very big so what i do is i cut this in half at three and a half and i use that for um two card bases well not, not for card bases but to pop on card bases so i chop this down to three and a half and then that's going to be my backgrounds um, so let me just, so it's three and a half by five. So let's cut some black card down to go behind it. So it's three and a half. So I'm just going to go to three and, three and five eighths. I'm only doing it in inches because the, 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 with this watercolour paper, it's probably easier to do it in inches. This is just to sit behind those, just a little border, not a really thick border. There. Right, let's let's go. Right, what I'm gonna do. Have I got any hi Anne, have I got any butterfly fans? Because I really like these butterflies. Um someone has asked me a question. Yes, it is a whole stamp, it's one big stamp, but you could cut it down, and that's not quite as drastic as you think. Um, what I've done is I've pre-stamped some, as you can see here, and I've cut them out. I've stamped on watercolour paper with stays on because we're using water. I did have a bit of a faux pas when I put them through and my, my um, I 
didn't put any washi tape on the die and it moved a little bit. So I'm just going to trim these off a little bit just to get rid of the excess around the edges. Are we all well? Are we all okay? Oh, you're waiting for yours to come, Sarah. Oh, I love them. I had a customer order at half past 11 last night. They went live just after 11. I knew when I saw in my inbox that I had an online order. I knew it'd be this lady because she'd been messaging me. She was desperate to see when, when they were available, which is nice to see people enthusiastic about our stuff. I loved your anniversary card, Sarah, that you did the other day. Sorry if I didn't have time to comment. Um, it's been crazy getting those challenge cards done, but I've done it all now. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use some colours that I wouldn't normally use. Oh, get playing with it. Oh, Ros, bless you. I'm going to use Mango Melody. And I'm going to do a bit of a watercolour background. Just squeeze this. Don't, I've not used these for a while. So I'm using this, the really wide one. I thought I'd do a bit of a... A bit of a watercolour background. Like that. Might even try and get a bit more on. Now this might not be everyone's style. I struggle, you know, with this. I struggle with it a bit. Um, so I've done that one. Should we do another one in the same? Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. Let's even try. Oh, I'm going off piece now. Let's let's try a bit of calypso coral. Well, I've done a bit of a blended those two together now and made my own colour I think Let's, oh, I don't know where my daffodil delight is. So we'll just, we'll go pale with this like that. That's fine. Bit of an ombre one, eh? Bit of an ombre one. So I'm going to leave those to dry. I'm going to keep my ink pads open because I'm going to do, I'm going to watercolour my butterflies now. We can use these ink pads, they're not just for stamping, we can use them for colouring in as well. And I squeeze the lid like a, um, is it castanets that go like that? Squeeze it with this part of your hand and your fingers, like that. And then you get this ink, which I'm going to use to colour with. And our water brushes, then these are new ones and they're much better than the other ones. but. Um, you do have to twist them the opposite way to what you think. Um, so for this one, I'm just going to put a bit too much um, water on there. Let's move some over. I've stamped with stays on because that's what we should use um, when we're... I have got old kitchen roll. There. To rescue me. I'm not an expert in butterflies. I know there's red admiral. But I know I'm not trying to do this one like a red admiral. I just thought I'd do this one. A bit orange. 
Um, all right, there's no comments, I don't think. Please do say hi, though, if you're on, don't be shy. Please say hi. So let's, should we start with this, should we have a go with this big one? One thing I do know, I think, about butterflies are they're very symmetrical. Yeah. They're quite symmetrical, so. I think they're moving furniture next door, so. Um, Just and with this, I'm just I'm just experimenting. Probably needs a bit more orange. The stamps have already gone on back order in the UK, but don't worry because they're coming back in um, next week, so don't let that stop you placing an order. Right, this one I'm going to go quite... I'm going to go quite orange on this one, and I might even go bit darker so I might even grab like a colour that I rarely use like Cajun craze or something do, do you have that what is the one colour Nanny and Sarah I know your demos um, that you hardly hardly ever use and why that's a question for people for, so for people who've got every colour what is the one colour? Well, you might have more than one. So I'm trying to think what mine is. I don't use terracotta tie on, and that's that's um, an in colour that's finishing soon. But I barely use terracotta tie on. Just looking at, I'm just looking at, and I don't use Mary Merlot very often. Um, and I rarely use pumpkin pie. Well, I'm going through them all now. Purples. Mmm. I like I like um Highland Heather though. So I thought I'd get a bit of Cajun. Shady spruce, ah no. I used that a lot when I did my fern class um K with the Forever Greenery. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm just um going to do the darker ink might be too dark in the sort of from the center going out Okay, so that's quite a lot darker there. Should we mix it up a bit? Um, let's mix it up a bit and step away from the... Um, I don't know if I like these watercolour backgrounds now. They look a bit... Anyway. Let's, let's go a bit coastal and let's go bumblebee. Making a lot of noise next door. Apologies. You use terracotta tile? I don't really use it. Of course, this is probably my favourite now. It's probably overtaken Pool Party as Coastal Cabana. And I keep I keep looking I keep
keep looking at this car. There's a car that I've seen. It's a Citroen C1 and it's like Coastal Cabana, oh man. It's, it's fabulous. I love it. The great thing about doing this watercolouring, you don't have to be as um, probably as accurate as with the blends. I don't think, you know. Let's get a bit of bumblebee. Oh, you had the you were doing the ice cream. Sarah, do you approve of a coastal cabana car? I, saw, I briefly saw your ice cream cards, Nanny, but I, um, oh man, I've run out of water in there. Right, I might have to use the thicker one because I've not got a tap in here. And I thought, I thought that, um, I thought that I'd got enough. Let's do a bit of yellow. See, it's gone a little bit green there where it's um, where it's mixed. Yeah, I do love Highland Heather and I'm going to miss Seaside Spray. I'm hoping that in a couple of years, if they do a colour refresh, I think we'll probably do one in a couple of years, that um, Seaside Spray is one of the ones that comes back. Oh, I quite like this. So I'm just... I'm just like letting these like blend over each other a bit, like that. I quite like that one actually. That was a bit of a, I quite like that one. There we go. Wow, I've got 20 on today. Should we go for another one with that color? Um, let's go. This um, brush has had a bit, I think I put it back in the thing without tucking all the bristles in. one bumblebee oh who's just give me some hearts thank you i don't know which that one is is that that one Kay? <laughs> you're more of a butterfly expert clearly we did have a stamp uh, once a big background stamp called swallowtail i love that There we go. And this last one, I think I'm gonna go orangey. Oh, is that your little granddaughter has? Oh, bless her. The highlight, honestly, sometimes the highlight of my day is seeing that little boy who lives next door to us. He's three and a half, but honestly, looks about five. He's a tall boy, bless him, and he's so clever. But anyway, I've taught him, Craig thinks I'm crazy, but I've taught him how to shimmy. I've taught him a shimmy. So every time he sees me now through the window, he's shimmying at me, and then he's getting everybody to shimmy when he sees them. He, got, he tried to get, well, he did, he, did, he did make Craig do his shimmy the other day when he went to his car. <laughs> So it's really funny seeing him stood at the window shimmying. Okay, so everyone is different. I'm just colouring these. I don't like leaving them. I think they should really be stay black, but I'll just put a little bit of yellow over. Right, so 
we've got our butterflies coloured. And now, ooh, ooh, I'm going to try something. Let me see if it works. I'm going to try a couple of things now. I'm going to do a bit of flicking. Now, Shelley, who is the founder of Stamping Up, well, the co-founder, is a massive fan. Oh, actually, I've just found my spritzer has got water in. So I could pour some from there. I'll just finish my drink, I'll pour it over my cup. Oh, you're waiting to go get your COVID test. Oh, bless you. My um, Evan's got to have his first one tomorrow for going back to school. So it's part of the... So for people who are not in the UK, it's part of the deal for going back to school. So he's having a COVID test tomorrow. And then he has another one on Monday. And then I think he goes he goes back on Tuesday. So I've now got ink, not ink, water in here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I've got some ink on the end of my water brush. And... Oh, you've had your vaccine, Cindy. Fabulous. I'm going to flick. Oh, let me just... It's quite subtle. But I've spritzed and flicked. I don't know if you can see that there. Okay, I might try a bit more. I might actually even spritz in, on the butterflies. Oh, I'm going bananas now. Oh man, they're moving all sorts next door. Oh, So I've sort of spritzed on there and spritzed on there. So my um, my butterflies um, got lots of dots on it. I've not spritzed, I've, da I've flicked. And so as the background, so I'm going to put that to one side. Oh, now what I might try with this one is I'm going to get rid of that colour. Look at my hand. <laughs> and I'm going to see a little technique that I did at Christmas. See how this works. I'm going to try and do some drops on this one. Oh, it's got colour in it, so that's not good. Whoopsie. I thought it all. might not work but we'll see Let's try this one in a might not work this but what I was trying to do is get the water and then put my no, it's not really work and then you get like a a watermark but it's not really worked you can see it briefly on there so what we'll do is we'll spritz this we'll um we'll flick on this one as well but let's get some more ink what did i say sarah going bananas what, what? i don't know what i said i always say going i'm going bananas you know me and my Yorkshire twang. Ah, that's better. 
Hey, you, you're talking to the, um, you're talking to the SU Demo Council for UK. I'm on the Demo Council this year. Decided to give something back and apply. So it's, it's there's five UK demonstrators and we have meetings. So that's really good. I um I don't know why I'm thinking of this now, but I've just finished watching a program on Netflix called Firefly Lane, and I just thought of fireflies when I did this. Anyway, I think this is dry now, so I'm going to attempt to stamp on it. This is this is honestly, man. This is out of my comfort zone doing this. It really is. Oh, did I put my stamps away? Please don't tell me I tidied up. Surely, surely I didn't tidy up from this morning. No. I just looked for last stamps. Found one of them. Hmm. And I found two. So I'm gonna stamp with stays on um, again. Oh right, it's a yeah, I really enjoyed it. It's um I watched it on my own, I watched it like at work, um, on my laptop on Netflix. It's a bit of a um you know, a chick, a chick, not a chick flick, because obviously it's not a film, but it's that kind of thing. It's just, it's just nice. It's a, it's a story of um, lovely friendships and growing up and things and relationships. But it's, yeah, I'm not going to say anything else about endings or anything. Anyway, I finished that yesterday. I liked it and I, I don't actually watch much TV. Although we, to, we are watching together Discovery of Witches and we're on series two of that and we're really enjoying that. And it, we're watching that tonight. We've got an agreement. Oh, I'll see you, Cathy. Have you watched it, Nanny? Did you enjoy it? So that's gonna go on there. Um, do you know what I might do with this one? I might actually do the happy across the middle. <gasps> Nearly. With this stays on, you have to put this back on. It does dry very, very quickly and get that lid back on it. Um, Fiona, you won't because Memento, you have to use opposites with ink pads. So have a look at my top tips video about using ink pads. But because we're using watercolour, watercolour and water, you can't use Memento because Memento is a water-based ink pad. So you have to use an alcohol-based um, ink pad, which is stays on. And the opposite applies. When you're using the blends, stamping blends, which are alcohol, you have to use a water-based ink pad, which is Memento. So that them's the rules. So I'm wondering if to stick with the oranges there... What I'm going to do first is stick the black card to the back. 
oh, it's it's um, the girls who grow up together, and one of them's a TV presenter. I think my um, glue has run out, so I've got another one. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> I don't know what you meant, um, Nami, but I get, I get you. I get you. I love doing these Facebook Lives now that you and Sarah come on and watch. Now that I know that I catch you. And what I do for anybody who wants to see this again, I put this on YouTube this afternoon. Yeah, I'm going to do that, Kay. But what I wanted to do was see what it looked like when it was on a card blank. Because I could have it hanging over. You know what I mean? It wouldn't matter. So I've just done those two. Thankfully, I've finished my challenge thing now um, with the cards and I am doing no more. And what with the hand creams and then the card challenge, that's it. I'm doing no more charity work in March. I'm giving to my own charity, me. me. <laughs> Right, so this morning I used subtles. Um, this afternoon I'm gonna go bright. Oh, I don't know if that's too bright. What do we think? Is that gonna be too bright? That's a bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's Mango Melody. I think that could be a step too far. So this is Calypso Coral. Ooh, ooh, what do we think? I think I like Calypso Coral. I mean, if we're talking bright, I don't think this will work because we've not really used any of the colours here. But wowzers. Do you like the mango, okay? And I, there's just something about the magenta. I don't know. What do we think? And there's something about the magenta that I'm liking. And do you know I've barely used it? But I don't know. Come on, let me know what you think. I think you're a few seconds behind me, so... Um, I know you're all saying Calypso, but... I just think the magenta's just... Well, just boom. Sarah Class, what do you think? The, the magenta's certainly very daring. Yeah, the Calypso's a safe option, isn't it? Oh, do you mean I have to go back and put some... Right, I know what. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to appease you all. And I'm going to do this one with the Calypso. And what I'm going to do... It so happens to have my magenta ink pad here. And I'm going to do what Sarah says. It does pop on the pink. I'm going to do what Sarah says. Oh, gosh. You're all, um, you're all saying different things now. So, anyway, I've got some more that I could do with the mango. So, I've got spare butterflies. So, I've got some pink here. I might add. It's not going to look very pink. That's the prob. But we'll go for it, I think. Yeah, and then I can do another one and I can put a picture on afterwards. They are very different. They're very different from my usual offerings. Look at the hand where I've been wiping the... Um, <laughs> where I've been wiping the ink. Oh man, you should see my desk now. It's a bit whoa.
Well, I'm doing one of each and then I'll do a, I'll do a mango as well. But I might do that after. So what you do have to allow for is that this is not quite equal on here because um, because it's American. I've just cut some normal because it's inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that up there so that that side, that side and that side are equal. And then I'm going to trim that off in a minute before I put my butterfly on. All right. You've got to make sure this is stuck down because um, the watercolour paper takes a bit of sticking. So, in these situations, I have a little pack of these pegs that we used to do. We used to sell these mini pegs. And what I do is I just put a couple of these. You can use normal pegs, you know, just to hold that down. And then where's the magenta? Yeah, you can set a large punch on it as well. Do you know what? I've had an idea as well and I don't even know if I've got one to hand. I don't know if it's got any in because I haven't used it like forever, but the Winker Stella brush would look great on this butterfly as well. So this is like a glitter. I'm not a massive, massive glittery person, but this just gives a little bit of um, extra pizzazz. I'll just see if I can get it to show on it's often better when it's dried. I don't know if you'll see this. I'm back. Hello, are you still there? Please tell it's saying my video's ended. It's not ended. still there i tried to oh sorry about that um, craig sent me a whatsapp message and i tried to um i tried to you know close it off and i ended up opening up whatsapp so i'm sorry about that so i was showing you wasn't i this um if you don't if you can see it it just gives a little glitter Anyway, don't know if you can see that on screen. Gives a little sparkle. Anyway, so I'm going to go and trim these cards. Just be back in a sec. Okay, I've trimmed those down and that one's going to go on there and I don't know if you're behind me, oh, there we are, I can see me coming back now. So this one, that's the one I added a little bit of pink to, I think I might do one there like that and one there like that. So 
So let's glue, I like to just glue the center here. What you can do is you could curl the wings back like that if you wanted to. Probably easier to do it before you stick it down. And then these ones, I've not put any uh, wing castella on these, so let's add that. Are you still there? Because let me just. I can't see comments now. Oh, I can now. Sorry about that. You're still there. Oh, hey, Sheila, no worries. So I'm going to add this one here. Am I using my old glue? That's my old glue. Bend these over a pencil or over your water brush, like that. And I absolutely love these. I think they're great for adding onto um, projects where you've used black. So I'm going to pop a couple on here. And it's my favourite part now where I just move everything out of the way and show what I've made. I'm just, I, although I won't be quite as ruthless today, I'm going to stack my ink pads up neatly and not, not just shove everything. Um, so I need to finish, I need to make something with these three that I've got left. Um, but I've here are two. Let me just tidy that up. So I'm sure you'll agree that you can make the butterflies look a bit grungy as well. Hey Marjorie, that's no problem. I'm just glad you're here. You can watch on replay and I'll be putting this video on YouTube as well later on. That's no problem. Your favourite's the coral. There we go, girls. And I've still got these gorgeous butterflies that I could use on another project which I'll probably carry on and do another one and see um, where my creativity takes me. I'll probably just do something similar. Um, what time is it? I've done 45 minutes so for now thank you for joining me today um, and I will be back next Tuesday afternoon on Facebook and the video will be on YouTube as well later on um thanks especially to my australian friends for being on <coughs> as well and have a nice sleep be safe and i will see you on thursday night for paper crafts and piano we're back on thursday night for our i'll keep getting mixed up now i think it's week 37 week 38 maybe or week 37 37 or 38 i keep i think it's that week 38 so we'll see you on thursday night um bye sarah lovely to see you say hi to everyone for me please and oh, it would be good on a slim line so i do that who said that like that elaine good shout right that's it now you've got me thinking
Well done, Elaine. Thank you. See you all soon. Bye.